Prince Harry could skip his father King Charles III's coronation, as he's looking for an excuse to avoid the landmark ceremony, a royal biographer has claimed. According to GOTV report, royal expert Tom Bower has warned King Charles and the royal family of Harry's last-minute stunt ahead of the ceremony. Bower, as per a report by GB News, has shared his opinion that there are chances Harry might reverse his decision to join the ceremony, saying, I think there is more to come. I'm sure that when Harry is here or just before he arrives, something else will come out of California, and unfortunately it'll overshadow what the coronation is meant to be about. I've always suspected that Harry didn't want to come. I didn't think he would come and I think he's looking for an excuse not to come because quite clearly he has been put back into the guest list area of the Abbey rather than the front, the royal expert added. Bauer further added, I suspect he'll look for an excuse until the very last moment not to come and that'll be the stunt they'll pull. But unfortunately, he's played into their hands on this. Meghan's husband Harry has already confirmed to attend the King's historic event without his wife and children. All eyes will be on Prince Harry at the upcoming coronation ceremony of King Charles III. A few weeks ago it was revealed that Prince Harry will be attending the coronation without wife Meghan Markle. Now a royal commentator has shared that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex might call for a last-minute stunt ahead of the ceremony. On the other hand, UK readies with pomp for King Charles III's coronation, the crown has been resized. The troops are prepared for the biggest military procession in 70 years. The gold state coach is ready to roll. Now it's time for the show. King Charles III will be crowned Saturday at Westminster Abbey in an event full of all the pageantry Britain can muster. Enrobed clergymen will hand over the medieval symbols of power, the rod, the scepter and the orb. Brass bands and soldiers in bearskin hats will troop through the streets, and the new king and queen will presumably end the day on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to wave to the cheering crowds. But don't be too dazzled. There's purpose behind the pomp, to buttress the crown's foundations and show that the people of the United Kingdom still support their monarch. Critics have questioned the price tag of such a lavish event that comes at a troubling financial time for the country. The Operation Golden Orb Committee, which is in charge of planning the coronation ceremony, estimates that the event could cost around £100 million. First Post had written that like all other monarchies, it has been proved that the British family is like a parasite to their own country. The coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla promises to be a display of pomp and pageantry that will celebrate the start of the new monarch's reign. But when Britain is languishing and the economic condition is in doldrums, it is highly insensitive on the part of Charles to have a coronation. And with public purse strings continuing to be tightened, it is questionable whether an event of such extravagance and cost is appropriate. The royal family of Britain is like an unproductive consumer, feeding not only on Britain's resources, but also the global resources. The royal family needs to understand that the coronation of Charles and Camilla comes at a time when the cost of living crisis continues to tighten its grip on people's finances. Royal historian Robert Lacey compares the event to a US presidential election and an inauguration rolled into one, a celebration as well as a test of how the public sees the new sovereign.